Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There is sound. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> See these horrors and do nothing. You have no idea what. All right. Now you're asking here the email about the character you're about to break down and cry and how to push that. Just quick before I go into this. Uh, careful, we are so edgy on, on this character here on the left. Um, I think I, I remember, it's been a while actually, but I remember we talked about this where uh, either bringing the character more into frame or it could be an over the shoulder so that, you know, it could be more balanced than, so you don't have to show the face, you don't have to animate anything. But right now this feels a bit awkward to be there. And then once we cut, um, a little slight tangent there, and then it's kind of, it's just, it's just also so close where I feel like this will be, um, again, I got, might have to go back into the previous review we talked about, but I think you'll be more comfortable to at least centered. It could also be on the left. I mean, maybe at least a bit more here so that we are within my clumsily drawn thirds here. So that, you know, the eye could be like the head would feel like it's more concentrated here than so far on the right. Because it's not like the character turns around and ends up being here. That's why we need, we need to anticipate the space here so just that i think is going to help as well the other thing too is that i think given that the sound is so elevated it feels like he's breathing a lot or sounds like see these horrors which i mean he is but the thing is i would just treat this as you know maybe it's just <laughs> really good mic <laughs> or uh, the boom operator like the mic is right there i don't know maybe something's just over dialed but i think it's just too much in terms of what you're doing with the mouth shapes i'm going to turn off the sound here um so just if you watch him hey this already pops it's a really big move over one frame and then after that it's like one frame down and then actually goes the other way it kind of locks and goes back there's no easing into this same thing here. It's not as poppy here. It's still pretty big though, in terms of shape changes. This gets better. And then we get to this. And I, and I mentioned this just because there is a, um, there's a tone to this to bring the sound back. You have no idea what it's like to be a cop. It, uh, it's not like he's yelling at the beginning. It doesn't feel like there's a big, yeah, 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 or something. It's, it's, it just, I think you want to keep the, the emotional impact of the sh of the shot and kind of the tone of it, and having this pop into this to me, there's a disconnect where it, it's it's emotional and it's there's definitely a lot of energy in the voice, but this is like a, a big like, pa like he's he's going into like a poo 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 weird. <laughs> um, just kind of, it's just so much energy in here that I feel like it just doesn't quite connect with the with the audio. But then after that, there's it's an odd pinching of the corners. Which some rigs have where like this is something you can dial in to pinch that in but it's it's an odd shape for a breathing it's like a very intentional sound or you know mouth there and then it continues and it's that's kind of what bugs me too is that i am suddenly distracted by the shape and i'm looking at whoa like what is going on here it's like this wavy thing where it's then starts to intersect and it just, it just keeps keeps going and if I put the sound back, like to me, it, this would just be, and, and I know it almost sounds like a, where he, he purses the lips like this, but to be honest, I would personally ignore that and just keep it where, let's go back, I think even this, this mouth here, like that is like a big, a big inhale. And then you got, then you have looking through the camera, really offset lids and this open it feels like everything is dialed up way too high in terms of what is going on and again if you turn off the sound if you just look at him there's so much stuff going on in the at the bottom part and it's there's also a slight look and feel to it as if this whole lower part is translating down versus a jaw hinge from here where where we have a rotation and not a translate and I'm saying all this because you're asking about how can we, how can we make this you know work where we can feel the emotion more. The reason why I'm, I'm saying all this is because I am concentrated here. I'm not looking here. That's that's my issue there. 
where I want to look into his eyes and and feel the sadness and all of this. But the problem is that with the profile in this nose, it's kind of like my nose, I have a bump as well. Like you can't see this, so you're only stuck with one eye. Not that that's wrong, wrong. I mean, you can, you can do stuff and there's definitely examples of this. But I think if you had something that's, he never really comes back, does he, huh? even here. It's like, we kind of see it. So to me, it's like either you turn him around so that we see both eyes, so that it's more-ish like that. You can push it maybe a bit more. Or you push it where it's always like this, and we only see see one. You do see two or you see one. But this always kind of like, am I seeing this? Like I always feel like I want to lean over and see past that, that nose bridge there. And again, I'm saying this so that we can connect more with this. Like I feel like the emotion is going to be sold more through that than this. This to me is upstaging what's going on here. There's too much movement there. Let's go back. <laughs> I see these horrors and I do nothing. Because if you, let's see if we can do this here. I think what might help you is just to do this. Just concentrate on this. Let me just see how much we see here. Okay. All right. It'd be a card. <laughs> see these horrors and I do nothing. See, it's, you can you can see how much if we only see the top part. How there's not much going on there. Horrors and here it freezes. I do nothing. And I know we talked about this where he might stare off. This is the memory. It's not like he's processing stuff, so you wouldn't, wouldn't have that many eye darts. But I think uh, it would serve you to, and I don't remember if you did, like if you film some reference, you look, find reference or, or better if you film reference and you act things out, like what is going on? Do you, is there anything where, like this is also pretty high in terms of a squint. This could also be lower so that through this section when he's here. Do nothing. Like this is, imagine he is. See these horrors. See these horrors and you might have one or two blinks, right? Like he's re remembering stuff. And again, I might go back and, and um, contradict what I said in the previous review. I apologize. I, I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, I know we had some back and forth, but looking at this now and the way this is animated, my current suggestion would be to keep this. See these horrors. See these horrors. Have one or two, maybe two darts. Not huge. But imagine he is he's trying to remember things, right? So he's processing stuff and that causes the darts. He's looking like, yeah, well, what happened? And then he gets that imagery of the horror. And that's when he starts to stare. But imagine the lids are lower and even this could be, I mean, it depends how far you want, what do you want to go with the eyebrows. But imagine from here to this, instead of having just the stare, this is where he is mentally looking at the horror and maybe that's when the lids go up. That's when his, his brows go and they furrow, they go lower. You might even bring in a little bit of a tear. Imagine like there's a tear forming in, but something where like if you would act this out, how would you, if you're mentally just imagining that whatever horror image that he has in his head, how is that going to affect the character, right? So to me, instead of just staying still and just looking out, it could be also something where he might he might start here, hold a bit. This could be another idea where you just you do this instead of all the way up here, you're here. And then as you know, during this section where it's all quiet, we're actually here. And then he goes up a little bit more and he goes up a bit more. It's, it's almost like the you imagine he's a certain headspace and mentally it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse until he just breaks down and that's when we that when we have this here you could also do something where see these horrors see these horrors like i said like um darts and then it's just kind of it could also be a widening you could also go contrast wise where you start here and then slowly it widens it widens it's like the horror and the, sh the shock is is going back in the brows go up the eyelids widen and you, you know it's it's it could almost be like more than one or two eye darts but then it starts to slow down and then as the horror sets in and the lids widen and the eyebrows go up do nothing do nothing and instead of this do nothing you i mean you can go up but 
you close his eyes. That's a big contrast, right? You go from from squinty to big to closed. Like that's your big contrast at the end. Do nothing. It's almost like this is so horrible. I can't look at this anymore mentally, and, and just everything is just so horrible. I have I have to close my eyes. This is too much. And then maybe he can he goes back down. Maybe that's the moment where. Uh, I said before, maybe if you do more three quarters, we see both eyes. So it has more impact to see both eyes widening. At the end, do nothing, do nothing is where he closes his eyes and turns away in profile and then looks down. He looks down like he, he it's almost like in shame. He looks away from the other character that sits there, if that makes sense. I mean, that could be to me a transition where, uh, you know, like imagine, not that he's talking like this, but that's kind of the feeling. In his head as he's saying this he's kind of talking to him but then as he realizes and just do nothing that's just the worst part in him then he just wants to look away if that makes sense you know imagine he would say the whole thing like that and then he looks a bit more this way. i'm not saying you should change the whole thing I'm just saying like for me mentally it's like he's talking to him a little bit and then he's imagining what's going on so he stares away just past camera and then at the end and do nothing that's when he turns away here and closes his eyes but now imagine this is all taking place from this angle right so when he says all this he might come back up a bit three quarter we see both of his eyes does all this eyes widen to full shock in his face and then he looks away head down profile so he looks away from from the guy here with his eyes closed that could be a way i mean there are many ways to do this um as always i don't want to I don't want to dictate anything. So I would recommend just act things out, try different versions. You can always email me with your references. None of these count as any submissions. So uh, we can kind of decide maybe on some ideas that would be faster to act things out than, than block things out. Um, and then go from there. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.